Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here looking at the custom cliff and custom tree that we did yesterday here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill. Uh, I mean just outside of West Hill, it's like the border of the town is right here. So we uh, I managed to come up with a creative way to blend this very dull but natural looking cliff into the stone wall and stone towers that lead up to the western bridge and uh we uh needed a separation we because of the the bridge and the and the towers are made out of the same material as the cliff i wanted to try and differentiate that somehow so that's what we managed to do uh one thing we didn't really do or even tackle yesterday was the fact that the road that i have planned out this way as much as i really like this texture here it blends in quite heavily up this way and i'm wondering if it might be good at some point through maybe from here getting up into here if we were to slowly blend this into deep slate and then we could make a deep slate road that would go west and i mean it would stand out it would be very dark but that might be good i don't know there's not much this way it just it kind of leads to a whole lot of nothing so it wouldn't really be an impressive road because it wouldn't be very long so i'm not sure if uh if that's something i want to do or if i want to transition it into dirt uh and go from there maybe maybe the thing to do is to actually pull this grass to the south and have a little bit of grass here so that lo this looks like more of a a natural dirt path that people might take i could see myself actually uh digging this out a little bit and making it more like a a pass through the cliffs as opposed to over them as if it was a natural like the cliff kind of stopped here and it kind of dipped out like that and the road kind of went that way that would that would make sense to me if the goal is to make the road stand out choose pink well i wouldn't go that far cosmic dancer resubscribing at tier three for 67 months in a row five and a half years that's amazing thanks so much cosmic very very cool a long time so we were looking at the river cliff here and the two things that I wanted to start tackling were bringing the stone down along the side here and I wanted to start addressing the dirt probably below the snow. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the snow just yet. I do have some snow blocks and things like that but I think this is the stuff I want to get rid of immediately and i want to kind of get rid of it and replace it all at the same time i think that's probably going to be the most um I i'll say accurate way to do it i'll get lots of stone i know i've got snow somewhere oh wow maybe we have to go yeah, scratch that. We need to go find some snow. Where's a good place to go mine snow, I wonder? I mean, there's the ice spikes area. That's probably the best place, hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, field trip. That's a fun way to start the stream. Uh, we'll bring... We'll grab this. I'll need that stuff. Is there anything out here I don't... Don't need to bring... I'll bring a couple of swiftness potions. I'll bring gravel in case we find a way to get more of that. I don't know if I've got more cobblestone, but we'll go get some of that too. And we might as well fill this up. And this has got a bed in it, torches. We'll make sure we're full up on food. Actually, do I have another ender chest? No, okay. And 
And there's also something I needed to repair too. My shears? Yes. Bring that. Turning, hello, good to see you. Kiwi, good. Good to see you as well, Grandpa Crafter. All the, the usuals. Been listening to a lot of podcasts lately and a lot of talk of AI and less about like the harmful nature of it i'm trying to stay away from that and trying to i mean i know I'm, I'm aware of it and i'm trying to be conscious of it but there's also some interesting ways that you can use ai to your advantage thinking about <clears throat> build prompts and for people that are stuck with ideas and what to do in minecraft it's like you know what if you grabbed uh you grabbed an ai generator and started typing ideas for Minecraft builds. I imagine you probably come up with some pretty good ones. All right, so we've got gunpowder. I feel like I'm low on paper. So I'll bring paper as a shop and list item. I mean, I guess I could just turn that into paper. That's not the end of the world. I think that's it. I'm not really running too low on much more. Now, do I have cobblestone in here to fill up this? Yes. All right. That's sorted. And stone would be the same thing. Yep. I crashed the game. Joy. I might have to look into replacing that that mod. See if there's one that's been updated. I've not bothered because we haven't updated the server past 1.20.1. We're still on 1.20. Yeah, we're yeah, we're still on 1.20.1. So 1.20.4 is what we could go up to, but I I'm kind of wondering whether I should even bother because I feel like 1.20.5 is coming soon, specifically because there's no snapshot this week. And that makes me think that instead of a snapshot last week, we're probably going to get a release candidate this week because it's already the end of February. Generally speaking, these 0.5 releases or point releases come out um between major releases. So I feel like we are more than likely going to see uh, a release candidate. Now, don't, you know, quote me on that. Gravel. We are out of gravel, I think. Yep, I'll have to look for more of that. I don't need that on me, actually. We can put that away. And that is, what was there? Wood box, I guess. Oh, we can empty this before we go anywhere. Slowly, carefully. Uh, I'll leave these. We were using those for building. Cosmic, do you need any flowers? If I'm traveling, do you need any any flowers? Specific type that I could bring? It only does it when I move stuff from chests. I notice I've never crashed 
when I'm moving things in and out of my inventory, it's only uh, it's only chests that the data that the uh, the mod crashes on. Uh, always, silly questions. What are the colors that you need, in Cosmic? Because I can just bring them. Oh, I should bring Steven's stuff too, and I'll deliver this. I'm, we're just going to do a little bit of a field trip today, I think, to start things off. Because uh, I've got Steven's gold and Alistair's TARDIS. And then we can bring stuff for Cosmic as well. Poppies, dandelions, and sunflowers. Uh, yes. Well, there's dandelions coming out my ears. Sunflowers. And poppies. I feel like I've got a lot of poppies, yes. You know there's poppies at the, uh, the iron farm too, right? We're good. Uh, nighttime. No, no, I've got lots of cobblestone. I'm good. This this thing is pretty... Pretty good. I'm not too worried about it. I have a full shulker. Oh, wow. Frame rate is garbage why is this why are the shaders not being nice it's actually really dark over here on this side of town even in the morning on the server all right we can put the cobblestone and the stone back gravel's coming with that's coming with switch and get our stuff out. And I think we're good. It's not very often that I'm walking east in the town at sunrise. I'm usually doing other things. Too lazy to get bone meal. Well, we haven't, I haven't run the moss farm in a long time either. I think that's one of the flaws we have on the server is that a lot of the farms are either off because they're not needed all the time or they're just not near where people load them in. I'm not seeing anything on this little run that grabs me that needs a lot of attention. That's a little bit of a bear cliff. But we could just grow a couple of trees there and it would be fine, I think. It's a lot of grass there. A few little things I'd like to change. Maybe one of the things I should start doing is every time I do one of these little supply runs is I should work on the path. Like bring some blocks and spend a few minutes working on the path but i don't know it's probably better just to come up here in one 45 minute chunk of stream and just finish it off because it's just that hill part everything else is done it's that one that one hill part Westall valley needs a happy tune from john denver that's funny I've never been much of a folk folk music fan. 
I mean, I get it. I understand how some people will have the appeal, but for me, it's just, it's not really my thing. I think a lot of it is because that's the kind of music my dad listens to. And, uh, that was always on the car radio when I was in the car with him as a kid. And you just, it gets overplayed. I think when you're a kid and you have no choice, you, you have to go because <laughs> you're too young to be left home alone. Spend a few minutes, quote unquote, working on the path. Have you met yourself? Yes. Fair. Now, what do we have here? We've got gravel. I don't think there was any gravel. We've already been to the, um, we've already been to all the places looking for gravel. Gravel, I think I have to dig up. But as far as dropping things off to people, first up is going to be Steven. And I don't think I have a chest. We'll see if Steven has a chest. I've not been here in a long time. Very cool. Special name tag stuff for you to go through. Hmm. Where can I put things? Steven's storage shack. Lighting blocks, random building blocks, obsidian. Uh, more stone, really? That's funny. Stone bricks and variants, more stone, cobblestone, stone. Where's the special stuff? Redstone, tools and armor, mob drops. Cause it's like a block or three blocks of gold or something. Well, I can just pile that up <laughs> right in the middle of the room. Uh, do I have an item? I wonder if I have an item frame. If I did, I think I lost the shulker that they were in. And see mob drops, leather. Maybe we can make an item frame. Mm, lighting blocks, deep slate variants, wool carpet dye, fuel, tools, armor, books, redstone stuff. Where does he keep the wood? upstairs no man frame rates around here are garbage yeah steven streams on the server for folks wondering uh he's been busy lately so i think those are farm related things didn't see any other chests Yeah, I saw like no, no wood blocks anywhere. All right, I've got wood somewhere. Uh, I guess we'll just use one of those. That's going to mess up my shulker box. Do I have anything that has sticks in it? Can you make sticks? Yeah, you can make sticks to these. crafting bench somewhere. Why is this crafting bench outside? All that work just to leave somebody gold and a note. Even's golden nuggets and that's everything. Um, 
Where's a funny spot to put this? Maybe we'll just put it right here. Steven's Golden Nuggies delivered. Maybe it's all the lighting updates making it so chunky. There's a lot. There's pumpkins and uh, shroom lights and all kinds of stuff. All the wood stuff is in the, in the treehouse. Oh, okay. I guess he probably wasn't using a heck of a lot of wood at the giant stone temple. That makes sense, right? Uh, next stop is Alistair. That is going to be down this way. I feel like this I can just deliver and build. And there's a shout out for Alistair McFly for anybody that wants to follow Alistair on Twitch. I don't think he's been online in a while either. Now, is this going to dump me off in the middle of his town? It is. Okay, good. I thought it was going to send me deep underwater somewhere. I will just put this somewhere's really obvious. Here's probably pretty good. So Alistair came up with this cool little idea for a TARDIS. Oops. It was on the cliff outside of West Hill and it's fun and it's cute, but it also does not jive with uh, what I want to do in West Hill. So we have returned it. It is really clever, Matt. I agree. Yeah, Alistair's got a really cool area for folks that want to go check out his stuff. I don't think his VODs are still around and I don't think he puts anything on YouTube. I think if you are not keeping up lively with Alistair and Steven when they're on Twitch. I don't think they have like a VOD archive anywhere. And then we'll go drop things off to Cosmic. Where do you keep your flowers, Cosmic? Where's the best place to drop this stuff? Uh, Shoutouts are farther up in chat, Turing. Cosmic is uh, way ahead of you. There's links above you. It's also Alistair McFly and Stephen ESC. If you want to quickly Google those or whatever. I'm assuming down in your storage somewhere. Everywhere? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find a spot down here for them. I have flowers. These are very bright. Wow. Um, not in a bad way. I just am surprised. I don't know if I've spent much time with frog lights with shaders on. They're super white. And grass stuff, cobblestone, dirt. New blocks, wood. Put them anywhere? All right. There's room there. I'll put them in there. You have a dirt block. You do. What 
that's that. Right, that's a reminder for me to get paper. And we're not outside yet. <laughs> it's crazy how deep you've dug. Uh, oh, it looks like Mac has slept. That's good. This is also a great area first thing in the morning. Cosmic's area is super pretty. I really cannot wait to do more with color. And I know I've been itching to do a sci-fi area, but I might have to hold off on that. I might have to do something else just wild and bright and colorful. Uh, paper. We'll check to see if there's any more sugar cane. I did have a like nine stacks of sugar cane back at West Hill, but we'll double check to see. Do, 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 do. Now there hasn't been a lot of people around, so I don't know whether the sugarcane farm has been loaded or not. And this is old school. This is the very first farm ever built on the server. And I upgraded it once. Oh, there's a little bit. I'll take one stack. So this is our spawn town for anybody that's not been watching long enough to know. Is this that's still going? Okay. I know the cactus and the pumpkin farms are probably pretty good. Uh, do I have paper in here? No. No balls. Do I have snow here? That would save me a little bit of work if I've got snow here. If I did, it would be over here. Do. I will take that. I'll leave the layers. Take a stack of snowballs. Actually, might as well just take all the things we need. I'm going to make maybe a snow golem farm to have going in the background in West Hill. That could be kind of fun. And sugarcane. Do I have any extra sugarcane? I do. I'll leave at least a stack here just in case I need it later. All right, that would be all. All that would be here. Check the swamp for more, more sugar cane. What about parking lots? You remember a conversation regarding the parking lot, maybe the city a few years back as well. Well, memory wants to work me today. Hmm, I don't know what you mean. Let's uh, swap, I guess, briefly. Let's see if I've got any extra sugar cane. What I should have done when I was doing a lot of my bigger projects was create little mini farms like single cell sugarcane, single shell, uh, cell bamboo, all that kind of stuff. The parking lot in the city build, diagonal spaces on the edge of the river or something. Yeah, what about it though? Like how did we get into the talking about parking lots? No bones here. No sugar cane. And there's no gravel. I think I've got cobble here though. Yes. Not a ton, but there is some. That's good to know. 
question is, will I remember it later? Also, lots of gunpowder here, too. Perfect. That was... Paper. I think we're probably good there. Oh, I don't need that open. That can go back in there. No blocks. Probably put that back in here. This is now empty. So we've got snow in there. And that requires a crafting table. So I'll just put this in there. I'm probably going to switch over. And, oops. So now I just need to pop down to the, um, the repair place just because of the elytra. Yeah, gold farm. Oh yeah, I've been building and streaming now for like, I think it's six years coming up on the 15th of March. A lot of striders right there. It's always hard to jump up on here, and I don't know why. So this will take just a couple of seconds to fix everything up. I don't think there's anything else that needs repair. Those are... that pickaxe doesn't have mending on it, so we should be good. Maybe that's something I should have looked for as a mending book at the... Um, Villager Trade Station. Those are all sorted. Good stuff. Oh, I might have gravel somewhere in here, too. I probably already checked. Now that I think about it. Mostly about the shears and the elytra. Alright, we'll leave whatever little bit of gold for somebody else. Not too worried about that right now. I agree, man. I think, well, the, the, the renewable gravel is now piglin bartering. Like, that's how you get gravel without having to dig it up. That's the issue, right? Uh, we'll check the workshop here, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any. Cobblestone. Just a little bit, yeah. Not too worried about it. Oh, that was my face. That's not good.
Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. Crash Giant Decider, Crash Gravel would be nice to a decorative block. Oh, I see. Like if it was a different texture, that makes sense. Uh, we're going to go this way. So rather than fly the whole way, we'll just speed along. There's some ice paths that will help us get to the ice spikes mining area. It's not quite as boring. I find it easier to talk to chat too if I'm walking on a path rather than flying. Especially in the nether. I will fly in the nether, but I will not fly and not look <laughs> in the nether. There are there are lines that I won't cross. It's hard with the lighter though because you've got it's hard to do these little jump speed boosts because the elytra ends up engaging. I don't think we need the long one anyway. I think the ice spikes is right here. Mesa is up top and then the ice spikes is to the right. Yep. Oh, you know what? Let's just take these off. Not my favorite visual, but it means you boogie. So given this is such a long way, I'm okay with it. There's another tunnel up here too. Oh, ran out of food. I guess there's no temptation to fly in the nether if you don't have an elytra. Uh, giant taiga ice spikes this way. Obviously we have done absolutely nothing to decorate these portals. Just the blue. Now somewhere, I forgot that this texture pack had northern lights. That's cool. Wow. I forgot the shaders did that. Well, this is going to be a death trap, so I should probably get my bed. I don't know that I've been in this area with the shaders on. I'm going to have to take them off for all the mining because there's just, there's no way I can keep up with a decent frame rate and mine in this area. I just need to find a spot where I've actually started to dig things out. So I don't actually need ice. I just need snow. It looks like I didn't really care much around here. Well, one of the benefits is that we have the map, so we can just look around. Looks like maybe there's a spot where I was digging snow. Don't know what that looks like. Maybe sand? Find out. A weird little frozen beach. Huh. Odd. Well, good place to set up shop for some digging. And yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to kill the shaders so my frame rate doesn't go bananas. Uh, we'll grab packed ice. Uh, 
I'm going to make a new shulker box for snow. Maybe we'll do three layers. No, and three snowballs. How do you get snowballs? Just break one of these? No. Okay. Uh... That'll get us going. That'll get us back. And we're good. There was a big old dirt patch over here somewhere. Right in front of me. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about mining speed or anything like that. Pretty easy. So we should be able to get enough snow for our project in a very, very short amount of time. I guess if I really wanted the snow layers, I could be digging the top layer off first. That is a really relaxing sound. It almost has an echo. Oh yeah, we're at three stacks already. Hollow underneath. Wow. All right, let's organize this a little bit. We've almost got three stacks of the um, snow layers, snow, snow block, and snowballs, right? No, oh, it's all falling down the cave. I guess I should have waited. Maybe we could have gotten away with what I had for the elytra and um, gone back to the gold farm to repair the shovel because the shovel's probably going to need some TLC after this too. I can't remember whether we designated this area as, as a mining area. I'm pretty sure we did. 
generally speaking, when we find a big biome like this, it has like a, a resource that people want, like mangrove swamp or ice bikes. We usually kind of find like the ugly end of it and then start mining from that side. And that way, if somebody wants to build something with this in the background, they could, if you built like over here or up here, you'd be looking at the pretty parts. And then if back here is where all the mining is taking place. It's not a massive ice spikes biome. I mean, it's big, but it's not like huge, huge. I've certainly seen bigger. And plus, we don't really mind using like online map tools. So if people want to find a new ice spikes biome, like they can just punch in the seed to something like chunk base and just go find one, right? That's how I'm going to find the area for my sci-fi zone is using something like chunk base. I want to find a really large um, mushroom biome. All right, let's go see how we've done. It was heading the right way. So weird to be in a completely different environment to where we've been spending most of our time the last few years. Careful not to crash the server. So we're good for snow layers. Honestly, that's probably going to do us. I don't think I need any more than that. We've got a decent amount of ice. Not too worried about it. And not a lot of blue ice, but that's fine. Also not something we need a ton of. Snow, gravel, and that's it. Yeah, I was obviously harvesting ice from the river too. Meadow, thanks for the lurk. Remember that I am not wearing my elytra. There are better snowy areas. Oh uh, yeah, with the 118, you're right. Ice spikes with the new terrain generation would be a much better experience. I agree. We were looking up here as a potential area for some of our farms, but we ultimately decided on a much closer spot for the, for the, um, Piglin farm. We've at least taken the time to turn everything into like non explodable blocks. So if something happens where you're getting shot at by a gas when you're running along here, you just you keep running. They're going to shoot where you were. You're not going to get hit. You can just keep on motoring on. You'll be fine. And the road won't be damaged. Some things might get lighted on fire, but the road will be fine. Look at all the striders. They're wild. Oh, we didn't look for gravel. Uh, the gravel, were, the place where I think there's gravel is the desert. So we'll go check that out. And that is going to be this way. A 
I really will put my shovel through some paces today. When the giant nether marshmallow starts shooting at you, you panic? Well, just, you know, panic, but run in a straight line. Matt B likes snow biomes. Yeah, yeah, I think I might try to make like a snow golem back at, uh, there's no way to do that automatically, right? Like you have to basically sit there with a shovel and harvest it. But it like automatically fills in once you've removed it. It's been so long I have to look up how to make a snow a snow farm. Oh, that's the wrong portal. I was on autopilot. I was reading the chat. I went straight to Alistair's place. Wrong way to the desert. Yep. I was just following... Normally, that's where I'm going if I'm down this way is Alistair's place. I don't normally head down this far. I am going to fly the rest of the way just because it will be faster and there's nothing here. And plus, if I can keep some of my four minutes of speed, then gravel will be easier to come by. There might be gravel in some of the chests down this way, too. Unfortunately, this place pops you up backwards, which is annoying. Cobble, sand, dirt, sandstone. Odds and ends, and no gravel. Is there a bed? There's a bed. This is our mining desert. As you can see, it's been ripped pretty bare but over here is one of these old gravel mountains i think it's over here is that gravel that's gravel excellent yeah i think this is where i was mining out Gravel before. Looks like it's been pretty heavily mined out. That's fine. This is probably faster than bartering with piglins and especially where it doesn't cost any gold. The thing to do would be having a separate gold farm. So if I was to make a piglin bartering farm, I would also create another piglin gold farm and have it feed directly into the bartering farm so that the only use for that gold would be specifically for, um, for bartering. So I'll probably just go until my speed runs out. There's something really cathartic about this. Feels very early Minecraft. And I guess we get some extra snow too.
We are absolutely going to go back and repair the shovel. <laughs> I don't think there's any place else where I can get some quick XP, so we'll have to pop back down and repair the shovel. Oh yeah, that's like a, almost an entire shulker box full. I'll leave a couple spaces empty just because um, sometimes if I pick stuff up out of the riverbeds, I want to I want to have room in my shulker box to put them in. But like, what was that? That was less than that was less than four minutes. I had four minutes and change on that uh, that timer. Don't you need auto crafters for that first? Um, no, you get you get ingots from you get ingots from um, gold farms. Um, do I have everything? Yes. I remember to turn around. They changed the way that portals work after we built this. Whoops. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I'm going to zip back and repair my shovel. I don't think we have any place else that has decent XP. Yeah, I'm thinking about adding the hermit craft data pack and we're back here again whoops Are they still mad at me? Perfect. Get even get even madder. I guess I could probably bring that with me. Try to stay organized. I'd say that's good enough. I won't be using it nearly as much when we get back. And thanks for the break reminder, Cosmic. Appreciate it. I think what we'll do is um, I'll get back to West Hill. Was there anything else I was going to check? Mending book or something? I don't know that I have enough emeralds. Oh, I've got some. Maybe I'll maybe I'll hang my hat in West Hill. Not West Hill, in um Dartmouth Meadows while I go on break. And see if there's any mending books that I can snag. Actually, that's not really that important. We'll just go back to Westo. Uh, yeah, it's just a texture pack. Uh, because I don't have Optifine, we have to use um, the mod. Continuity is the mod. 
and continuity allows you to use texture packs that were geared for Optifine. Um, but that's glass. Like that's, I think that's black or dark gray glass. You can just barely see the square outline there. I thought you could see Stephen's temple from here. Oh yeah, you can. We should tear like this ugly dirt thing down so that Stephen's temple can be seen from the world hub. That would be cool. All right, rather than walking the whole thing, let's just scoot back just so I don't get too far past my break. Didn't realize there was a lake down there in the pond. Cool. If you're new to the channel, folks, I take a break about once an hour. It is that time. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Moira, CST. Hello. Welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, I guess I should drop this stuff off in the keep before I go anywhere, shouldn't I? Even just that short trip around the server to a couple different biomes makes me just feel how devoid of color <laughs> this area really is. All right, so I'll keep that on me. We'll put the bed back in here. I don't... Um, this stuff can go back in the toolbox. I don't need those right now. The grass is full. The grass is full. Okay. And now we have a new snow uh, shulker box. I've got to have some bone meal just kicking around here somewhere. Guess not. that what I wanted? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Nope, this one. Oh, there goes my anvil. Now we've got snow. We've got bear. Satchel can get actually dumped out. I guess I can put this, maybe we'll do another stack of paper. Mini packs, resubbing at tier one for 41 months. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. And that is a 12 month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer entering the fifth month. So thank you to Cosmic Dancer for giving that gift sub to mini packs. And thanks for the shout out, mini packs. Satchel and die box. All right, die box, go back in there. Satchel comes with me. Red box comes with me. Pink box is just spare. I can go in there. Gravel will keep in case I need it. And bottles, I guess, can go back in the push shit box. Which is, I guess, over over the other area. Uh, zero T triple six. What is the best way of supporting Joel? Prime, Twitch, Patreon, or some other way? It's a really good question. Uh, it is the most. I guess, comfortable way for you to support consistently. So I, f I feel, and this is just my personal opinion, that the best way to support your favorite creators is to do so in a way that you can do sustainably. It's harder for creators to continue to do work if the support is going up and down and up and down and up and down. So jumping onto Patreon or something like that at $20 a month to only have to stop two months later and either stop completely or go back down to $2 a month. Like that, that's hard for creators to plan around. But if you know that you've got a certain budget that you can stick to, then uh, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, if you go with something like Patreon or 
a, a YouTube, no, not YouTube, um, Patreon or a PayPal donation. Um, Patreon takes 10% and I see 90% of any kind of monthly subscription or monthly support. Uh, PayPal doesn't do it automatically. PayPal is just like a, a thing. You can set up a Streamlabs donation monthly and that goes through PayPal. Streamlabs takes no, um, no cut. I should just do this while I'm talking. Um, Streamlabs takes no t- cut. PayPal takes like a 2.5% or something really, really tiny. So um, some people have set up a recurring donation via Streamlabs. Uh, Twitch takes a much larger cut. Uh, it's it's somewhere around 50%. It really depends on the creator, what their status is on Twitch and what country they live in. So I can't give an exact number on that, but it's, it's a lot higher than 10%. It's, it's closer to the 50 range. And... Uh, that's public knowledge. That's not any kind of giant secret. The difference is that if you do a sub on Twitch, then you get the emote, you get the sub badge, and you get the recognition here in chat. Uh, if that's not something that matters to you, if you just want to join the Discord, then Patreon is the more economical way to do that. And if you did like a $5 sub on Twitch or a $5 sub on Patreon, Patreon is a better way to do it because it ends up being a lot more of your money supporting your creator that you want to support via Patreon as opposed to Twitch, which, you know, half of it goes to Twitch roughly. Um, and then after that, if the, if the discord isn't of interest or if you don't have time for it, then PayPal is, is a good way to go as well. Now I would encourage the discord because the Discord's a lot of fun. I think you'd, you know, really enjoy your time there, that kind of thing, which it looks like you already have because you've got a firestone keystone badge so you've probably been in the discord for a while but i'm just kind of speaking in general for people that might that might be curious uh the other thing is uh prime which you mentioned if you are already paying for prime then there's no extra money coming out of your pocket it's just prime gives you a free subscription that you can use to um to give to a creator just know that it's not five dollars it's not a tier one. It's, it's half a tier one. That's how, that's how prime works, but it's not extra money for you. That's just, that comes with prime that you're already paying. Um, I subscribe to prime. So I, I have that to give away to other creators as well. Does that answer your question? And if anybody else has any questions, by all means, either let me know here, or if you're not comfortable talking about it here, you can always drop me a DM or drop me a line in the discord and I'll be happy to, to answer any questions. Cosmic Dancer set up a monthly tip of $10, just like that. <laughs> Expertly demonstrating by Cosmic. Uh, expert is pushing it a little, says Cosmic. That's that's great. Uh, Cosmic, don't you already have one? Or is that is that the re is that the recognition for the one that you did earlier this month? Because that's the other thing, 0 T66. If you do a recurring donation with Streamlabs then you don't get access to the discord automatically but you do have an opportunity on twitch to do a shout out so let's say your your streamlabs donation um it renews on the fifth and you're not here on the fifth or i'm not live on the fifth and you're like oh no i missed my opportunity to to hang out with joel and and do the shout out well you can do the shout out whenever you want Whenever you log back in, there's like, hey, you've got a, your monthly Streamlabs donation shout out has not been redeemed yet. Go ahead and, and shout that out, which is what I think Cosmic just did. That's the recognition I did for earlier in the month. Yeah. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Uh, and you're welcome, Zero. Thank you. Thanks for asking. It doesn't, it's not talked about enough. I feel like some creators feel like they can't talk about it, but you know, like if, if a certain platform doesn't want me to talk about other platforms, then they better be the best platform. I don't think there's any harm in that, especially with, with people needing to be, uh, tighter with their budgets these days in the different economies around the world. Like I really, I think that it's important to talk about that. And like I said, I, if, if people are really strapped, um, you can just watch 
you can like and subscribe and you can tell your friends and you can share things on Twitter and that costs you nothing. And that goes a long way to help your favorite creators as well. So don't feel like it has to be monetary. Feel like all that info should be pinned somewhere in the Discord. It comes up often enough. It is mini packs. Did I not mention that? It's all there. It's all under support. There's a support channel. Um, yeah. There's the support goals, which is currently empty. And then the support channel has um, four or five posts and it breaks down everything from PayPal to Patreon to Twitch. Or were you being sarcastic? <laughs> Maybe you're being sarcastic. Mm. All right, snow layers. We get to mess with the fun stuff I just got. So snow, I don't think I'm gonna need those. So essentially, we're going to start by filling in this gap there. I should probably see if I have enough torches. I feel like this is a pretty big cave. And it looks like it's already been pretty well lit up. Oh, there's a... I remember this now. Right, right, right. Are we blaming Cosmic? <laughs> I'm going to put one more torch up here. Oh, there's a friend down there. Well, we're not lighting this whole place up, so I'll just seal it up. I'll just make sure that there's not enough spawning spaces here that there's going to be any noise. This all should be blocked. Yep, I think we're good. Gift sub hype. Mind Trip Media gifted a tier one sub and that went to, did I miss it? Where'd it go? T30 Drifts. Thanks so much, Mind Trip. That's very generous of you. And there, I guess there, that's the other thing about subs and gift subs is that there's also the hidden uh, benefits of doing something like a gift sub where like maybe that person um would not have normally subbed but then if they come in here they join the discord and they like they like the community then they might stick around so there are there are things that are still good you know for growth when it comes to uh when it comes to twitch subs but again if you're just going for the financial breakdown then then it's definitely um Definitely advantageous to go with something like a Patreon. I'm trying not to reinvent the wheel here. I'm just kind of searching for patches that look a little bit out of place. Something like this. Thought you were in the Discord, but I can't find it anymore on my list. Too many Discord servers. So one of the things that happens 0266 is, uh, or triple six, I should say, is that once a month I go through and I audit the um, 
the Discord. So if somebody's Twitch sub has run out and they haven't resubbed yet, and very often that happens because a lot of people wait to resub when I'm live. And um, if you're offline for a couple of weeks and you haven't resubbed, then your name goes white in the Discord, which means you don't have a role. And I, I just remove those people. I don't ban them. I just I kick them out of the Discord because there's lots of people that pay to support to be there. And so I want to make sure that the people that stay there are, are supporting. And so that, that could be why you don't see the, the list. Um, you can connect your Discord on your Twitch accounts though and you should get an invite or at least be able to find the Joel Duggan Discord if you go to your connections tab in your settings in Discord. You have the news section collapsed. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. I think it might be worth for me once in a while to like do an everyone tag in announcements and just be like, hey, uh, go check this out. It's been updated. I think I talked about it in the town hall channel, maybe. All right. What's going to be the best way to do this? Well, let's experiment on a couple of snow caps up here. Right, so this has got snow on it. And if you remove the snow, then you get that. But what I was thinking is that I'd mine that out and put a snow block here. And then everything underneath it would be rocks. So all I was thinking about doing was just counting, right? Probably best to start down here. One, two, one, two, three. And then when we get up to the part where it's snowy, we'll just add snow blocks, but I don't know if that's going to look very good. It might be better to go with um, snow layers. So I'll have to do a, a chunk to see if it looks good. I think Elkhorn said this is how he did something on Infinity Cove. We might find some gravel up here too. Right, that might be enough. Is that going to look good or bad? Oh, I don't know about that. It might be better if we did snow layers. Maybe we need to do a bigger section. Thanks, you found the Discord. You're in again. Fantastic. Good stuff. Cosmic says, I have to always appreciate your willingness to talk about that kind of stuff when you can uh, and your honesty. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. 
Uh, more because I want to know that the majority of the money goes to the creator and not to fill someone's pockets who definitely doesn't need it. Yeah, that's the thing, right? I mean, and it's a choice that people make. Some people love using emotes on Twitch. Some people want those sub badges and they want to rack up the so many months in a row. And so like, it's a choice that you make, right? In terms of where you want to support. Announcements and welcome has always uh, been open. And then you've got unreads were all hidden. If announcements was hidden, I probably would have noticed it was collapsed. Right. Yeah. Do you do much in the way of passive income streams with your creative stuff? Uh, not as of yet. I've been looking into doing some merch, some print on demand stuff. Um, for folks that don't know, I actually had a company that was a publishing company. I did um, an art book for an artist named Piper Thibodeau. And so I did a lot of printing. We did a lot of prints, books, stickers, that kind of thing. And so I'm, I'm used to, and I know a little bit about printing. And I also know a lot about shipping because I had to ship a lot of that stuff uh, or work with a fulfillment office to do it. And it's something that I would not have the time or desire to spend my energy on in terms of the logistics. So if I do anything like that, it would be print on demand. Um, but I also have not been focusing my energy on any of my personal creative stuff. I have creative contracts. I just finished a web design for a client, but the thing is like, I've been doing all that kind of stuff for other people. So I don't have, um, I don't have that, um, that level of, of personal content built up. I guess we'll just keep on going for a little bit to see if this needs to be changed at all. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then that. might be easier just to do this and then go back and fill in everything underneath it. Kind of an interesting way to do this just use the generated content from minecraft and just change the blocks i'm not i'm not thinking about where i'm placing anything i'm, I'm just replacing seven fell too far. I mean, you can see how that's working, right? It's just a matter of whether that snow stuff is going to look good. Goal of mine this summer is to make more passive streams uh, so I don't always have to make something physical to do with the logistics to make money. Yeah, no, that's a really good, that's a really good call. It's a really good call, mini packs. Um, I I know that's something I need to do, um, and that's that's another thing I need to do about things like getting more social media out there. That's got some interesting stuff going on, like TikTok. Where once you take the time to make the TikTok video, the chances of people s like seeing it, potentially finding the the Twitch stream, and then sticking around or maybe subbing, then it becomes a whole other 
thing and I don't have to make the TikTok video more than once. I have to continue to make new ones, but not, you know, like you're just slowly building up the potential chances of someone discovering your stuff. We're going to have more grass blocks than we know what to do with. I wish that the snow didn't have such a hard edge on the stone. It's weird that it does that. Oh, out of stone. Rain. That's not going to be fun. So yeah, I've been thinking a lot about passive income streams because uh, one of the things that I'm, I think I've mentioned before on stream, but not in great detail, is that I'm trying to to buy a house, and I have. Um, I have to basically just increase the amount of income available to me to make getting into the very bloated Canadian housing market possible. And long term, it would be, it really wouldn't be much different than like my current budget. It's more, it's just that that giant lump that you have to use to get into a, a situation where rental prices are just like silly. So there's there's more of a i'm not sure what you want to say like it's it's probably more responsible to end up with a mortgage than to keep renting because you're just paying someone else's mortgage at that point right uh when you say hard edge what do you mean uh, i mean this right here that hard edge between the snow and the stone versus the pixelated edge that you see on the snow layer on top of grass. So like if we did this right there, there's the difference, right? Or actually, oh, that has to be grass, I guess. Yeah, so there's the difference, right? Snow layer, and you can't do the same with stone I, I guess I could if I got a texture pack I could honestly I think there's probably a vanilla tweaks thing I thought I could do that McScrew gun resubbed at tier one 34 months in a row coming up on three years McScrew gun that's banana town thank you so so much appreciate it So I'm testing to see whether these snow blocks that we just went and collected are actually worth what I think they're going to be. I don't know if it's going to look good and snowy. Maybe I have to replace them with snow layers instead.
I felt. Recently had a million play posts recently on Instagram. Pure luck. But it got me thinking as well. Oh, interesting, Mind Trip. That's a lot of eyeballs. Looks good. I'd ski that, says, <laughs> says McScrewgun. That's good to know. See, I don't think that looks very good. So what we're going to do is we'll do this section here with snow layers instead. Unfortunately, my picky brain is probably going to make me do um, a lot more work. Like, I even think this looks nicer than, than this. I'm just waiting so I can sleep here. All right, so what we'll do here instead is stone. I guess if I go from above, then I get to keep the snow layer. Right? I mean, we'll remove the dirt too. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right. Well, so much for the snow blocks. That's annoying. And that means we're going to need a lot more snow layers. Can we break these down? I think so. I might have to add a little data pack for that. That would be handy. Uh, it's three blocks in a nine by nine for snow layers. Ah, that's what it is. That means that I don't have to worry about making more then. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there we go. You only get six? Yeah, that needs to be a data pack <laughs> to get a lot more than six. I'll probably make a little recipe for that. I need to update the data packs anyway. I do not plan on doing anything special with like multiple snow layers. I think this is just too big and not as important 
as like a pathway or something where if it was a path i would totally take the time and and put in like multiple snow layers and give all that cool different heights and stuff like that but for this i think i'm just going to go straight up snow oh that was a regular snow layer one layer on each should be fine Oh, whoops. This is actually a really nice break from all the river stuff that we've been doing. again. Crap. The idea was to try to work from the top down so that I uh, didn't have to do a lot of bridging or scaffolding or stuff like that, but we'll see. The intention was to jump that. <laughs> I am not a parkour person in Minecraft, that's for sure. Now, do I want to keep that andesite there or do I want to remove it? It might actually be worth keeping, you know? Because that's a lot of stone. Out of snow layers. Might be worth bringing a crafting bench up here. I have liked the snow resource pack in, uh, or linked the resource snow resource pack in the Minecraft Discord channel. Thanks very much. Yeah, is that a vanilla pack, vanilla tweaks one? I think I've seen it before. I just never bothered with it because I've just not you, you like needed it. But now that I am doing this, I uh, I might take advantage. Appreciate it. I think that's all the stuff we changed. Yep. So it's just a matter of replacing this stuff. Now this, we won't have to worry about any snow. This will be a lot easier to do. But you can see, I think if I go over here, I'll be able to compare. Maybe I have to go over this way. Right, so like, replace the dirt not thinking about it just replacing the dirt with whatever you know wherever minecraft wanted it to go but then this is with the dirt and i i much prefer that look uh, obviously we'll remove this as well but i think that's going to be the way to do this going forward oh that is a dangerous place to stand
on one hand, working here won't make you feel sick. On the other hand, it might kill you with how many times you fall off of it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too worried about falling and dying. I mean, I guess it would be kind of a yard sale if I did. But it would be easy enough to get your stuff back. It's certainly not going to despawn. I mean, we're right, right here. I'm just not sure what's faster. I feel like it's faster to go along like this, ledge by ledge. Do it this way rather than going vertical. It'd probably be faster vertical if you're doing creative mode. Don't need those. See, this andesite here just feels kind of natural, so rather than removing it all, we can just leave it. Is anybody else seeing a weird flash when I remove a block? Like a weird pink sunset, maybe? It is the sunset true dog? Yeah. I think that's a sodium thing, because it's not it's not rendering the other side of the block. Uh, with jobs like this, I find it's best to do whatever way fatigues your brain less. No, that's fair. That's fair. And also I find too, whichever way looks visually appealing, you know, is easy to talk over because it's also a stream. And if like, I don't necessarily want to watch somebody look straight down for an hour, you know, I wouldn't anyway. You saw nothing. Certainly wasn't um, coal ore that I'm totally ignoring. So here I might stop because I, I might want to change some of that to be andesite. We'll head back the other way. Oh, that's right, McScrew, and I forgot all about the falling thing. It's been a while. You forget just how m much resources you can get from just digging at a mountain. Oh, and a site. Almost got a chunk of it done. It's pretty fast, actually. It's not. Uh, it's not a painful process.
might be a painful process for that squid. Now some of this might change because I might change the way that the river goes here. So this stuff might change a bit and there might be some different colors here. So I'm not gonna get too worried about making things perfect down here. See like here, I've added like little slabs and stuff like that. And I don't think I'm gonna do that everywhere, but places like here where we have a secret passageway and we have a little dock here at the bottom, I think it would be worth it to make this look pretty. Um, maybe a little bit here. And it might be worth it to have something cool here when you come out because this actually goes up inside this house somehow. Where's the, there we go. Yeah, it goes up inside the tower. Yeah, that looks very cool. Now, what are we going to do? I feel like I want to add some andesite in here. So some of this we'll probably replace with andesite. Similar to like what we did over here, where there was a bit of andesite naturally in the wall and we just kind of left it and made it feel special i don't want to get into doing like a gradient over this entire mountain that was just bizarre but you can see just how much work we have to do but i think when all that dirt is removed it's going to feel a lot cooler it might be worth it to do a gradient because at some point the gray of this brick is going to blend in with the gray behind it so we might have to come up with a way to do stuff maybe we can do like little cobblestone toppers or something like that andesite might be good to do for example i know on some of the towers i've used andesite on the i think they're called marlins up there so like that top slab is andesite and it looks it looks like a lighter color so they stand out a little bit more Thank you, Cosmic. All right, do I have, I've got some andesite on me, so we'll just kind of experiment with what this looks like. If I was to take this. And maybe we'll do this too. The trick is I don't have a lot of andesite. So I'll have to be careful what we decide to make andesite along here. Pinky is getting a good workout, so I don't fall backwards off of this thing. And then maybe we'll go back to stone down here. site but this is where I think I'll probably just remove it just because it's only a half dozen blocks
this will probably get replaced. Oh, I'm out of stone. This is kind of like working in matte painting and film. Yeah, you're right, actually. That's a really good point, Mini Packs. That's kind of what I'm doing. And what I've been doing for all of the like backdrops that I've been messing around with, right? There's another section I'd want to have more detail just because of that little wharf. But we're almost done this section. I want to be careful not to change the shape of the river. Although maybe that was supposed to be there. Yeah. Okay, so that pretty much takes care of this entire section with, the, with one little bit up there that I missed, and I didn't go all the way to the top either. Yeah, the pinky is definitely getting the workout. Let's go up here, take a look from a couple different angles. I can't see a heck of a lot over here. Yeah, once that goes all the way up, I think that'll work. There's a section over here that I started as like a test. And this is where we have that problem of it does kind of blend together. So we'll have to figure out a way to separate these two. I know I, I kind of I'm still back and forth a little bit in my head about whether to call this the gray river or the spruce river just because there's so much gray happening here. It does look much better though when you're not even when there's not something in front of it, like I feel like that's a much nicer looking thing. It it gets a little bit repetitive just because of how tall it is. That's where I'm hoping the snow at the top will help, but then also we may have to start sprinkling in some stuff down here. Some of this could make, make, make more sense if we went and changed it into gravel, but again, like I, I don't want to spend forever on this. Shadow of the Tower looks really cool. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's also clearer, the shadow, when it's not over like dirt stuff. Like if we go over here, there might be a shadow being cast from this tower. I don't see. I don't know if that's happening or not. Yeah, so there's there's a shadow there, but I think that's more effective because it's just all one color. Whereas this, we've got a lot going on inside the shadow. And if that was all gray stone, I think that shadow would be, would be more effective. So that's another bonus to what we're doing. But it has to be a lot of gray through here too. I mean, that's the thing, like we might be able to come up with some ideas here. Like maybe we come up with some different color here or more lanterns or like just something here. Maybe this design of this chain thing changes a little bit just so that it pops out a little bit more from the background. It might not be a big deal.
Right on. Well, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today, folks. Uh, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me just see who else is live. Cosmic, let me know if we have any recommendations. Uh, Exuma just started, looks like. That could be a fun place to send people. We already we raided Tadpole yesterday. Um, What's Exuma up to? Resource hunt. Loglands. Yeah, let's do that. We'll raid Exuma Void. Always a good place to send folks along to. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you follow here on Twitch. You can also follow on social media at Joel Duggan. Uh, Instagram and Twitter are my most active places. I would say Instagram is probably the most active place. You can also check out the Spawn Chunks podcast all about Minecraft every Monday, recording a new episode tomorrow. That'll be published tomorrow as well. And looking forward to having Johnny on this week, I think, on the Citadel Cafe podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. We're going to be talking about the Avatar The Last Airbender live action show on Netflix. I'm probably going to finish season one before Wednesday. So we'll have a good chat about that. You can, of course, check out things like patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. That is what we talked about earlier today, actually, about a good way to support your favorite creators. The base level entry to the Discord is $2 US a month. And it is a fantastic and affordable way to join this community and help keep me streaming. I very much appreciate all the support. It doesn't matter where it comes from, whether it's a Twitch sub, Prime sub, Patreon sub, Streamlabs donation, PayPal donation. It all really, really helps. Uh, it's that consistency from a wonderful community like you that keeps me streaming. And uh, we'll have more coming up on Thursday. We'll be back in Minecraft. And then Friday will be day two of the XX70 one-shot Polaroid camera Lego build. So we're back doing Lego on Fridays until I uh, can figure out what's happening next for those Lego sets. So we'll we'll see. And uh, what, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Oh, right. Got to thank Cosmic Dancer the epic mod for the mod sauce and the help this weekend. I really appreciate it, Cosmic. I know that uh, we've talked about this off stream, but uh, Cosmic, Sandy, and anybody else that's a moderator in my community that is here on the regular and, and helping out with the community, I very, very much appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. And uh, if I don't see you in the podcasts, then I will see you here on Twitch on Thursday. Bye for now.